Hello everybody, I am the Fachwerker and today I will show you a little bit of the restoration of our half timbered house. Especially we will talk about this one here, this is called a crossbar and for everyone who is not so familiar with the construction of a half timbered framework um, I will shortly explain. So normally you have this Uh, vertical oak beams, so these are called stands, and then you have some horizontal connections between the stands, and they are called the crossbars. Yeah? So they are really necessary and important for the statics of the uh, yeah, future building. And from time to time, if you are restoring such a house, it is necessary to replace them. Yeah? Sometimes they are in bad shape, sometimes they are broken, and then you have the possibility to replace them. And today I will show you um, yeah, how such a cross bar is built. Okay, like I always say, first things first. So if you want to build some oak crossbars for your half timbered house, you of course need some material in form of oak wood. And here you see one of many deliveries we needed for the uh, restoration of our half timbered house. So now we have our base material, let's start working on it. Yeah, first of course you have to get the crossbar to the right length. So here the bar has already been roughly cut and is now sort of to its final size. So now you may be wondering a little bit about this machine you see here actually. So I have actually no idea how I should describe this in English. So in German this is called a Zapfenschneider. On the one hand uh, this is a simple circular saw. So, so as you can see you can cut off the oak wood directly on the, yeah, or to the final length, yeah, which is needed for the crossbar. And then you can see the master carpenter can make a few adjustments to it. And then there will, uh, yeah, I would say some magic happening. So with the possibilities of this machine, the master carpenter is able to cut out the uh, spigot for the crossbar directly in, uh, yeah, simply a few steps. And this is possible because this machine or the saw of the machine can be changed in its angel and at the same time the table on which the oak beam lies, you can see it, uh, yeah, this can also be adjusted. And then in more or less a few seconds, yeah, as you see, the master carpenter can directly cut, uh, yeah, cut out the, yeah, the spigot directly out of the oak beam. But you should keep in mind that this is not the normal way to do it. So uh, we can do it here because we are restorating a complete wall with all the stands and all the crossbars and everything. And this is why we can completely um, yeah, do everything in one size. Yeah? So all the spigots have the same size, all the stands. Uh, will have the same size and uh, so we are able to unify it a little bit because the, yeah, the general adjustment of this machine uh, is really time consuming so this only makes sense if you want to produce or to manufacture more than three, four, five of uh, these crossbars. Yeah? So normally if you only have need one yeah, for your restoration or maybe two or three then it is definitely faster to uh, manufacture Uh, them completely by hand. Yeah, and as you can see the result is definitely um, okay at this point and the beam could already be installed in this form. Yeah? So we do a little more I would say optional steps with it. As you can see uh, the master carpenter is now using a wood milling machine to cut off a little bit from the spigot yeah, to make him a little bit smaller. This is um, yeah, something you normally do if you want to leave the half timbered frame open. Yeah? So you will not use any stones to close it, so you want to leave it open. Sometimes you do this inside a house. Yeah? And then normally this uh, spigot is then visible and this is not so nice. Yeah? So and, um, if you cut it off like we do it here, then you have a nice clean surface uh, on the inside of the framework. 
Yeah, for a better understanding, I think it's easier to show it to you. So here you can see it, uh, what I mean. So this is the inside of the framework. And yeah, so there is nothing to see from the spigot. And uh, in normal case, if you do not cut it off, you will always see there is a gap and then you can see the spigot. So the next step is more or less an optional one to have a nicer and cleaner, smoother surface. Now we are using a wood plane and directly after that we are cutting off the edges of the spigot with yeah also with the uh, with the wood plane but uh, yeah this is a more important step yeah, because the holes in the stands um, here you can see on the right side the chain mortiser uh, this is rounded up at the uh, at the end and this is why the holes are also round at the end and um, yeah then it's more easier to uh, fit in a, a rounded spigot instead of a rectangle one. Yeah. yeah, and then we are more or less at the final step of the manufacture process. So now uh, the last uh, thing to do is to simply cut off the corner of the spigot because with this small modification the crossbar is much easier to install yeah, inside the framework. Yeah, and at this point, I only want to mention that, of course, in such a short video, this always looks very simple to do, but there is definitely a lot of craftsmanship involved here. And you have to keep in mind that each oak beam in the complete framework of this half-timbered house is unique, and it is made exactly for the position it was intended for. So that everything fits together correctly in the end, there's quite a bit of experience necessary. <laughs> and as you can see, my colleague here is struggling a little bit with a definitely blunt saw. So um, I think in the meantime, I can show you a little bit how the crossbars are installed. You can see it on the left side. So um, this is what I mean. Yeah. So now, you, as you see, we can move the stands a little bit to the left and to the right. And then the crossbar fits perfectly between them. Yeah, and that's it. So the next crossbar is ready for installation. And with that, we have reached the end for today's video. Yeah, and this was the complete process of the manufacturing of such an oak crossbar for an old German half-timbered house. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you had fun. And then we see us again in the next video. Bye bye, everybody.